Hi everyone, my name is Kendall here at Lazy Llama Creations. Today we're going to be making a grilled cheese. This video does cover all the steps, but if you find it easier to follow on paper, the pattern is linked down below. It goes through all the row counts and stitches and has pictures of each stitch and everything to help. Taking a look at supplies, I have medium weight for worsted yarn. I have it in tan, brown, and um, yellow for the cheese. Sorry, I'm trying to move my cat off of everything. I have five millimeter crochet hook. You also need a tapestry needle, a small amount of black, and 10 millimeter safety eyes if you're choosing to add eyes. To start stitching, I am using my tan yarn. I want to chain two. And then in the second chain from the hook, we're gonna do an increase, which is two single crochets in one stitch. So one and two. You'll have a total of two stitches for row one. Chain one and turn. Row two, we're gonna do another increase. And then in the next stitch, we'll place one single crochet. Then we're gonna chain one and turn. Turning my work, we're going to single crochet two, one, next stitch, two, and then an increase. If you find it easier, you can mark your increase side. So anytime the last stitch over here or the first stitch is gonna be an increase. So now when I chain one, my next stitch is an increase. And then we're gonna single crochet three. One, two, and three. See, tiny triangle. Chain one, turn. Oh my gosh, and I just noticed how absolutely hideous my nails are, so please, no judgment on that. Next, I'm gonna single crochet four, two, three, and four, and place an increase. This is our increase side. So the next row, I'll do an increase and a single crochet to the end. Going back, single crochet till one stitch remains, and then do an increase. You're gonna start seeing the repeating pattern of building our triangle. To not painfully bore you, you're going to do this till row 17. Row 17 is gonna be single crochet 16, and then the last stitch, do an increase. You should have 18 stitches at the end. You should also be ending in the left corner. This is gonna be the top. This is our, like our cut long side, and these are our beautiful smooth edges. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna meet up at the end of row 17, and then we'll do the brown crust together. So I'm going to make my last single crochet, which is an increase. But before I do that, before I finish the stitch, I'm gonna take my brown yarn, find the end somewhere. And instead of yarning over with our tan and finishing, we'll yarn over with our brown, pull through, and chain one. And turn. So we're now gonna single crochet along the edges. So we're going to single crochet 17 all the way down, just like you would, like just like we've been doing this whole time for the tan, just going into the stitches. When you get to the last stitch, you're gonna place three single crochets into the same stitch. So we're kind of going around the corner, just like that. Now we're gonna continue crocheting, but we're gonna go along the raw edge or where our chains are. If you've never done that before, just go a little slow, make sure you're not skipping any stitches and just single crochet like normal. I'm just going into the edges. You're gonna single crochet all the way to the end into the last stitch. You can either choose to go here or I kinda like to tighten it up, go like really in the last stitch just like that. 
and then leave a decent tail for tan and brown and then fasten off. Because we're gonna be making two slices of bread, only one of them needs to have the long tails because we'll use that for sewing. So you're gonna repeat the same thing so you have a second piece of bread so we can sandwich it. But you're also gonna repeat the same thing in yellow for the cheese. You'll do the big triangle and then the edges and then I'll jump back in and I'll show you how to do the melty gooey scalloped edges. So I have my cheese triangle. I just went along all the edges. I'm gonna do a chain one and then turn. So I'm working along the edges that we just made. We're gonna single crochet into the next stitch. We're gonna skip two stitches, one, two. And then we're gonna place five half double crochets into the same stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five, and then we'll skip two, and that will be our repeat. So my, I ended on the skip two, single crochet, skip two, five, one, two here, five half double crochets, and then we'll skip two. You're gonna repeat this all the way around. After your last skip two, you're gonna place one single crochet in the corner and then fasten off. To add our face, I have 10 millimeter safety eyes. Place one in and then a second. Before I put the backs on it, I like to do my smile and then add the backs just in case I need to adjust the eyes. So I have a little bit of black yarn on a tapestry needle. From the back, I'm gonna poke through on one corner of the mouth and then make a straight line where I want the other corner of the mouth. <laughs> then I'm, going, I'm still in the back. I'm gonna go down to the bottom of the smile, pull through, and then pull down my straight line. If you pull it tighter, it's more of a V. If you leave it a little looser, it's more of a U, however you want. And then I'll attach my backs. I'm gonna tie a knot with my black yarn. Don't pull too tight though, cause you don't wanna mess up your smile. And we don't have to weave it in. Just gonna trim a little. With my tapestry needle, I'm gonna put my large or long brown tail on. So this is gonna be the bottom. I think this is the prettier side. So I'm gonna place it face down and then the cheese, and then the top bread. And I know it's a lot of tails, but they're super easy to weave in because you're just gonna stick it in the middle, which is super nice. Kind of line up my bread, find what corner I'm at, which is over here. And I'm gonna poke through one bread onto cheese, and then through the bottom and then pull. I'm gonna do this all along our brown. So again, through the brown, through the yellow, onto the other piece of bread. And you go all along the edges. With my long tan tail, tan tail, that sounds weird. I'm going to repeat the same thing through both pieces of bread and the cheese. Make sure you're lining it up because you want your, your cheese to show on the edges. And we're just gonna go along this edge all the way down and then hiding our tails. Finish off your piece when you're sewing in your edges. I just wanted to show that's super easy even though it feels like you have so many tails. You just have to go through the layers and poke it out the back and then you'll trim you know as close as you can. If it shows a little bit it's okay. We will fix that in a moment. And then I wiggle and all my tails are hidden. Thank you so much for joining me today in this tutorial. Again, my name is Kendall here with Lazy Llama Creations. If you have any questions, comment below. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe, of course, and go ahead and follow us on social media. 
If you share your creation, please tag me at Lousy Llama Creations so that I can see it and I can say, wow, that's incredible. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you in the next video.